I'm so thankful that you're taking the Set Your House in Order small group study. What you'll learn will change your life and your finances. I know it happened to my wife and me. Well, let me tell you why I'm so passionate about you learning God's way of handling money and getting your finances organized. When I was 30, my business partner challenged me to join him in a study of the Bible. We spent about a year studying it and we discovered there were 2,350 verses dealing with money and possessions. We were completely blown away. 15% of everything that Jesus said had to do with it. And the reason that the Lord said so much about money is simple. He cares for you. He loves you. He realizes that all of us will have financial challenges and he wants to equip us to handle it in a way that will both please him and be the very smartest way for us. But I gotta warn you, God's way of handling money are different from the way most people handle their money. Isaiah 55 verse eight tells us, for my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, declares the Lord. And you know, the most significant difference is that the Bible reveals that the Lord is closely involved with our finances. Well, in Isaiah 38, the prophet Isaiah told the king, this is what the Lord says, put your house in order because you are going to die. This study will help you do just that. It'll help you gather and organize all your financial information in just one place. And I promise you, you'll save time retrieving information and it sure will help married couples communicate better. You know, Bev and I have led more than 60 Compass small group studies. And the reason we've led so many is that we just love to see people handle money God's way. And as you'll discover, really, really close relationships are developed in the group. Now we've loved all of our groups except one. And the reason, those in the group just weren't faithful in doing the homework. So I want to encourage you. No, that's not strong enough. I want to challenge you. Be faithful to do the work. It'll benefit you and the others in your group. Now, a big part of what we want to accomplish is to help you get your finances together. So I've asked Kyle Hasbrook to help us do just that. Thanks, Howard. Well, as we're going to learn next week, we are stewards or managers of God's possessions. And in order to be good stewards, we have to know what we're to manage. That's why we fill out the financial statement that lists all your assets and all your debts. It gives you the big picture of your finances. Then you'll complete a deed to help you recognize God's ownership. Now the deed isn't legally binding, but it's important to have a time where we transfer all we have to the Lord. And lastly, you'll make a list of all your key advisors such as your tax preparer and insurance agent. Well, because people have different preferences, we offer two options for you to complete these forms. If you choose to use pencil and paper, all the forms you'll need are in your workbook. But if you'd prefer to use electronic forms where they do the math for you, they can be downloaded free from the Compass website. Now we've asked some of our friends to share what this study has meant to them. We're Ken and Sharon Battles, and uh, we participated in the Set Your House in Order study. And I thought my house in order was in order because my wife said it was in order. It is in order when I say it's in order. <laughs> yeah, but actually, it wasn't in order. Uh, we really found out that uh, uh, there's a lot of things that were missing, and, uh, and we're so glad we had an opportunity to, to take this study. I'm an accounting professional, and in accounting, we always crunch the numbers and know that everything is exact. Going through the study, however, taught me that I don't have it all together, that there were steps that I needed to put in place so that if something ever happened to me or one of my loved ones, that I had everything in order in one place so that person could be comfortable. I'm, I'm at such peace now um, because I know that, that my estate and my house is in order, not only according to the way that God would like us to have it, but also in a way that's going to be of benefit to those people that I leave behind and instead of being a burden um, uh, upon my death. Hi, my name is Beverly Alexander. I am a mother of three, a grandmother of one. I, ha I am a widow. Um, I'm a business owner. 
And, but probably my favorite thing to do is to play with my little granddaughter. <laughs> the specific things that Scott did to prepare, doing a will, having life insurance. We have a business that he started over a little bit over 20 years ago. And he created a board of men who agreed to come alongside me if something was to happen to him. Just one thought that I have to just address you as a husband. You spend your life caring for your wife and the ultimate way that you can care for her is to think about what is gonna happen if something happens to you. Um, unfortunately for me, my, you know, my husband died at 54 and we certainly never planned for that, but we were prepared for that. For me, it's just been the ultimate way that Scott said, I love you forever. Hmm, wasn't that good? And by the way, if you'd prefer to listen to the notes rather than just read them, uh, just go to compassone.org and click on small group studies to download them. And as you complete the practical exercises, if the explanation in the workbook isn't sufficient, just go to the Compass website where we've got excellent tutorials that will help you. Now let me mention two other things. The groups usually meet once a week for five weeks. However, the practical exercises for week three, four, and five often require more time for couples to complete. So it may help to have an additional week between these classes to allow plenty of time to complete the homework. It's also really important. I want you to schedule a meal together four to six weeks after the class is over. The purpose of this time is to enjoy each other's fellowship and to hold one another accountable. Hold your little fuzzy feet to the fire to complete any practical exercises that you didn't finish during the study. Well, my prayer for you is that during this study, you'll assemble everything you need to know about finances in one place, develop close friendship with the others in your group, and most important, that you'll come even closer to Jesus Christ.